the next initiative is called the highly indebted poor countries initiative i believe it's something you've heard before epic during president j a kufo's time um ghana was considered as part of the epic countries the highly indebted poor countries initiative was initiated by the international monetary fund and the world bank in 1996 with the aim of providing debt relief or debt cancellation and low interest lo loans for developing countries at the time it was felt that some developing countries had mounting debts some of them unsustainable and needed relief to give them the space to undertake policies that can enhance economic growth and development in those countries if you are a country and you owe so much it is likely you will not um you 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 will not experience economic growth because uh, the little you have you need to even plan to pay your debt which is not something very good so the debt relief or low interest loans were provided to countries that met a range of economic management and performance targets it's not that you you are just given a debt relief if you you must put your economy in a, a better order for it to meet some economic management and performance targets then the debt relief or low interest will be granted to your economy so the epic initiative has also received criticisms what are some of these criticisms one of them is that the imf and the world bank did not cancel any debt until the completion point uh -huh. this left countries under the burden of their debt payments while they struggled to institute structural adjustment i uh, saw structural reforms required by the the world bank and the imf under the initiative also some of the conditions such as privatization of utilities undermine poverty because they led to increases in cost of services beyond citizens ability to pay so that is um the nature of the hipic and some countries could not get their debt relief because they couldn't um they couldn't complete the the requirements set for them so their debts were still on them though the hipic promised debt relief and debt cancellation and lower interest rates and also um some utilities like the um, electricity um water and sewage company which belong to the government it was advised that it, they are privatized and utilities when they are privatized because a private individual aims at maximizing profits the the cost involved in using these utilities go high in many countries there are so many poor people so these are some of the criticisms against the highly indebted poor countries. For Ghana, anyway, it it benefited us to a high extent, but we are no more part of the um, highly indebted poor countries. All right. Um, foreign direct investment. I would like to pause here because FDI um, has a lot more information. So we will look at it in the next slide. Thank you. Bye.